Well, um, so, final uh, Rama 3D briefing. Um, so what is it? It's, it's uh, a stereo 3D um, rig, basically using six RIP2s, um, each with 220 lenses. This rig has got the, they've all got Telecine 220s, so you can see what the base configuration is. There will be an option to upgrade to enter panos. Um, have done an experiment with just two to see if it's viable, but the color the composition does kind of color the video slightly differently. So um, I think it's best if you can do either all or nothing. Um, so uh, the enter panel two twenties are an option. Um, I after this little video clip, it will roll into a sample where I went yesterday to um, Canal. Um, nice shot, uh, well it's a, a pretty nice shot I think, to show the stereo effect, but of course you can see the stereo effect here, now it is morning, it's daylight, but it's a bit dark here, so I've kind of had to light up, light everything up a little bit, um, otherwise uh, you know it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty dark and it's a bit cloudy, so, um, and I wanted to get this video out there, so um, I'm doing some lighting, so um, yeah, um, the rig, um, with cameras and everything is going to sell, I think, £12.50. Um, now, bear in mind that's six cameras, six lenses, the rig, including the six way remote control unit, which is the little circuit board with the cables. So that's uh, just a single button press to start them all. Uh, 16 gigabyte uh, memory cards, that's the whole smash. So. Um, Bit more expensive than the the other rig, but mainly because there's six lenses. That's where all the cost has gone. Um, hopefully, you'll see the stitching in on this is quite good. It, it does the usual thing. You'll see in the um, canal video that people walking by quite close to the rig um, does cost a stitch time. When they're gone, you'll notice the stitch is actually very good. So the, the stitch is actually very good. If you get too close, it's the usual story um, that the, the, these objects getting close to the rig. Um, but apart from that, I've left that all in so you can see it. Again, I haven't touched the, um, I haven't played with the stitch, I haven't collected anything, so I'm actually really pleased with this. Um, but yeah, I hope you like it. Um, it'll be up on the site soon if you're interested and if you want to have a go at this. If you if you do have, for example, a Brahm 6 or you have six GIT2 cameras, um, you just need the lenses. Um, I will probably do an instruction video on how to put it. It's quite straightforward. You just take the top off and, and screw it. Screw the, well, put the whole thing back on and screw it down to the collar. Don't take the collar off of the, the, the cover because that's really good positioning because it comes straight down off it. That's it, really. Um, have a look around. You can see, you can see the things. Uh, sorry about the lighting again. Um, but uh, yeah, that's. Uh, Unfortunately, it's, it's a bit of a cloudy day this morning. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for that. <laughs> so if you see, which hopefully it will. So, no, 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 it's fine, as long as you, the baby's going to be seen, that's it. <laughs> so, it's, 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 no, 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 it's, it's, it's fine. Is it like a 3D? Yeah, yeah. it's just experimental process. Is that your 360s? Yeah. Yeah?